Breakthrough in Photolithography Technology China's Move Toward 5 Nanometers Process In the semiconductor industry, photolithography machines are core equipment that determine the precision and efficiency of chip manufacturing. As global tech competition intensifies, countries are ramping up their investments in advanced photolithography technologies. In China, Shenzhen Xi and Kailai Company's latest Deep Ultraviolet (DUV) multi-exposure photolithography machine not only marks a significant breakthrough in this field but also injects new vitality into the global semiconductor industry. Traditional extreme ultraviolet (EUV) technology can achieve smaller chip sizes, but its high costs and complex maintenance requirements make many companies hesitant. In contrast, DUV multi-exposure technology achieves equivalent 5 nanometers precision through multiple exposures offering greater flexibility and significantly lower costs and maintenance difficulties. For example, ASML's EUV equipment costs hundreds of millions of dollars, while DUV equipment is priced at just tens of millions, making it much more cost-effective. The cost-effectiveness of domestic photolithography machines extends beyond price, it profoundly impacts China's semiconductor supply chain. First, the cost advantage of domestic equipment significantly reduces the initial investment and operational costs for chip manufacturers. For instance, Xi and Kailai's DUV multi-exposure photolithography machine costs only tens of millions of dollars, compared to ASML's EUV machines, which can exceed hundreds of millions. This price difference allows more small and medium-sized enterprises to afford high-end equipment, thereby accelerating the industry's rapid development. Secondly, the autonomy in the supply chain is another highlight of domestic equipment. Take Nanda Optoelectronics' domestically developed photoresist as an example. This technological breakthrough not only enhances the stability of the equipment but also reduces reliance on external supply chains. Given the increasing uncertainty in global supply chains, the application of domestically produced materials and technologies greatly boosts companies' resilience against risks. Additionally, domestic equipment offers more convenient maintenance and faster technical support, further enhancing user experience. Lastly, the cost-effectiveness of domestic equipment also shines through flexible customization services. Unlike international giants providing standardized products, domestic manufacturers can tailor solutions based on customer needs, catering to various application scenarios. This flexibility not only strengthens the market competitiveness of domestic equipment but also provides more choices for businesses. Overall, domestic equipment is gradually gaining prominence globally due to its high cost effectiveness, supply chain autonomy, and flexible service models. China's breakthrough in photolithography technology isn't accidental but the result of carefully planned strategic initiatives. Government support has been a key factor. In recent years, policies such as Made in China 2025 have promoted the development of high-end manufacturing by providing substantial funding and tax incentives to encourage increased R&D investment. For example, Suzhou Nanotechnology Park, a national-level high-tech development zone, has attracted numerous research institutions and companies, forming a complete semiconductor industrial chain. Additionally, domestic research institutions and companies have accumulated rich experience and technical reserves in fields like material science and optical systems, laying a solid foundation for photolithography technology R&D. Companies like Shenzhen Xi and Kailai not only possess strong R&D teams but also maintain long-term collaborations with universities and research institutions, jointly tackling technical challenges. This integration of industry, academia, and research significantly accelerates the pace of innovation. Moreover, Chinese companies have gradually mastered core technologies through independent innovation, achieving leapfrog development. For instance, Nanda Optoelectronics' domestically developed photoresists enhance equipment stability and significantly reduce production costs. Simultaneously, domestic companies have made important progress in equipment manufacturing, chip design, and other areas, creating synergies. These comprehensive technological breakthroughs have enabled China to rapidly close the gap with international advanced levels and secure advantageous positions in the global market. To achieve full-chain localization, companies in Suzhou Nanotechnology Park collaborate extensively. In raw material supply, multiple companies jointly develop high-performance photoresists and substrate materials. In equipment manufacturing, they have clear divisions of labor, forming efficient production lines, during chip design and production, they share technologies and resources, boosting overall competitiveness. 
This collaborative model resembles a relay race where every segment is crucial, requiring teamwork to move faster. Despite competitive pressure from China, ASML's sales in the Chinese market remain robust, growing by 42% in 2025. This indicates strong demand for high-end photolithography equipment in China and reflects Chinese companies' thirst for advanced technologies. The vast demand in the Chinese market presents significant business opportunities for global photolithography manufacturers but also intensifies market competition. First, the characteristics of China's market demand determine its high dependence on high-end photolithography equipment. With the rapid development of emerging technologies like 5G, AI, and IoT, the demand for semiconductor chips has surged, particularly in sectors like smartphones, data centers, and autonomous driving. This drives continuous growth in demand for high-end photolithography equipment, expanding the market size. However, in response to China's rapid rise in photolithography technology, international giants like ASML must adjust their strategies. On one hand, ASML continues to consolidate its leadership in EUV technology by continuously launching new products and upgrading technologies to maintain market share. On the other hand, ASML also focuses on mid-to-low-end markets, introducing more cost-effective products to counter Chinese companies. The Dutch government urges the US to relax export controls on China, believing that excessive restrictions will only accelerate China's self-research and development, ultimately harming Western companies' interests. In this context, Chinese companies must not only face fierce international competition but also continuously enhance their core competencies. Through technological innovation and industrial chain synergy, Chinese companies are expected to achieve even greater breakthroughs in the future. For example, the new photolithography machine released by Shenzhen Xian Kailai at Semicon China 2025 showcases China's latest advancements in semiconductor manufacturing and brings new opportunities and challenges to the global semiconductor industry. As China's photolithography technology advances, the global pricing system for photolithography machines may undergo significant changes. On one hand, Chinese equipment's cost-effectiveness could break the monopoly of international giants like ASML. On the other hand, Continuous innovation and optimization by Chinese companies will further enhance product competitiveness, promoting healthy industry development. According to market research, China's photolithography machine market size is expected to reach XX billion USD in 2025, accounting for XX percent of the global market. After the release of XIN Kailai's new photolithography machine, many downstream companies might opt for it due to its cost effectiveness, directly impacting the competitive landscape of existing markets. Moreover, technological breakthroughs attract more talent and capital into the semiconductor field, further driving industry growth. While domestic equipment still needs improvement in certain areas, its advantages in cost-effectiveness and supply chain security are becoming evident. Future advancements and market recognition will position domestic equipment for greater global significance. China's photolithography technology breakthrough has garnered significant attention both domestically and internationally. Many multinational companies are closely monitoring developments to adjust their strategic positioning accordingly. For instance, some European and Asian semiconductor companies have started engaging with Chinese firms to explore cooperation possibilities. The international market acts as spectators, watching how this contest will unfold. International interest in China's photolithography technology breakthrough is immense, especially given the highly specialized nature of the global semiconductor supply chain. Any key technological breakthrough triggers a chain reaction. For example, South Korean and Japanese semiconductor companies have begun discussions with Chinese firms to introduce domestic photolithography equipment, aiming to reduce production costs and enhance market competitiveness. Such collaborations benefit Chinese companies by expanding overseas markets and contribute to the global semiconductor industry's development. However, there are concerns among international players about China's technological advancements particularly for those heavily reliant on high-end photolithography equipment. ASML, despite its dominant position in the global photolithography market, must reassess its market strategy in light of rising Chinese competition. The Dutch government calls for relaxed export controls, fearing that stringent restrictions will only hasten China's self-reliance, ultimately harming Western companies' interests. Moreover, the international community recognizes that the tech competition between China and the U.S. has become a primary driver of global tech development. While it brings short-term uncertainties and challenges, it also fosters innovation and industrial upgrades in the long run.
Whether it's XIN Kailai or other Chinese companies, they need to continuously enhance their core competencies to stay competitive globally. Therefore, China's photolithography technology breakthrough is not only a significant milestone for domestic semiconductor development but will also have profound implications for the global semiconductor industry landscape. In conclusion, the new photolithography machine launched by Shenzhen Xian Kailai at Semicon China 2025 highlights China's latest progress in semiconductor manufacturing and brings new opportunities and challenges to the global semiconductor industry. Despite intense international competition, Chinese companies are poised to achieve greater breakthroughs through technological innovation and industrial chain synergy. I hope this content helps you better understand this event and its implications, inspiring optimism for the future. If you enjoyed my content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more exciting content.